Champ Car Atlantic Series is the last step of the ladder before you get to the Champ Car level. And Catherine is in the Atlantic Series and she's been doing a good job. And it really is, looks like a, a good competitor. Basically, Kevin Kalkoven, who is one of the owners of Champ Car and owns PKV Racing, I turned up at 9 o'clock on, on his doorstep and said, Kevin, what can I do to get myself into Atlantic? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, but uh, my daughter was with me, and I said, Kirsty, would you mind just going to talk to her? And I was, like, really apprehensive, because it's coming up over, and it's like meeting the president, you know? <laughs> it's like... About half an hour later, uh, Kirsty came back and said, um, Dad, you really ought to talk to this girl. So I came out to Phoenix in February, and I tested for these guys, and then I just snowballed from there. Jim Griffith, who runs Polestar, uh, said she was one of the greatest natural talents that he'd seen. We're a Polestar Racing Group, and we're located here in Chardon, Ohio. It's a small town, sort of reminds you of a place with Back to the Future. We have a clock tower and a square and all those sort of things. This is the main shop area. Each car has a bay. We lead on to a small machine shop that we have. We can basically build about anything we want to build. We've actually built entire race cars here. It's a small shop, but we still can get it done. Here is just a small kitchen area, just, you know, refrigerator, microwave. We generally go out to eat every day for lunch. And then uh, we've got Pam's office downstairs. She's keeping track of all the paperwork we shove her way, paying all the bills, hopefully bringing the money in to pay all the bills. And that's basically our shop. It's a pretty small place, but pretty efficient. People think that racing is always very glamorous, but let me tell you, it's not. I get back from a race, I do my laundry just like anybody else. I dress up like a slob because you just want to just go around the house, not, not worrying about what you look like. There's nothing, nothing glamorous about it when you get home. It's just a lot of hard work. Good weekend last weekend. We just got some damaged cars we need to look at. We got to get this done pretty quickly, as usual. If you like 18 hour days and seven days a week and you know 365 days a year, it's glamorous. But you know, it's in your blood. It's what you want to do. I mean, you, you want to win. Every minute that you're awake, you're thinking about it. But at uh, two o'clock in the morning when you're putting together a crashed race car, it's not particularly glamorous. As the team owner, I have one of the most important responsibilities on the team and I wash the team driver's suits and their underwear. Pam and Gemma are awesome. They've been surrogate parents to me. They've put me up in their house. They've looked after me. They've mentored me. So what'd you get? Uh, first and fourth. Oh, that's cool. You got first, I'm sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. Oh, it's all right. You've gotten, you've gotten enough. Next one. Never, Never enough. enough. Never enough. Having drivers or crew members live with you, it keeps you current on what's going on in their lives, and it helps you help them get through days, weeks, months, when they're many times away from their families and loved ones. To be a great race car driver, you have to have the desire to want to do it. You have to be able to put aside any other thing that would be in a normal person's life. The stability of having uh, sometimes even a family, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a dog, I mean, all those little things that we think are typical and, and give us the stability in our life, I mean, a race car driver a lot of times has to put that aside. You come away from home and you don't know anybody, and so I've relied on them a lot, and they really have been so good to me. I, I wouldn't have got where I am without them. Catherine has adapted quite well in the house, considering we have quite a zoo. She's not used to having little cats walk up or little dogs run in her room and welcome her. She's handled it with a lot of grace that I don't think she's <laughs> needed to do at times. And we get to go to cold stones with the hair as well. I know, and I went as backups. I bought extra Ben and Jerry's tonight. <laughs> You're the best. One thing that I've learned from Polestar is good ice cream. You know, I don't really have too many other habits. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything else. So I figure if we get ice cream once a week, I'm happy. It's, uh, it's my motivation. <laughs> I'm going to have peanut butter cup perfection. I like it. I like it. You want to try something new? Yeah, I'm going to get chocolate milkshakes. You know what? Can I try some cotton candy? Yeah. Oh, no. You're not. I'm no. not going to switch. I'm just going to have a little taste. <laughs> you want your tongue to turn blue. Yeah. When I'm getting ready for next season. You know what the cotton candy tastes like? Oh my god, it tastes like um, candy floss. Yeah, okay, that's it. Candy. 
Try it. I think I must get um, probably around 50 autograph signing requests a week. That's excluding the ones you get at the track, obviously. It must take me about half an hour, I guess, to get through them all. If people enjoy receiving my signature, then I, en I enjoy sending it to them. I'm still at that stage where I don't know why people would want me to sign anything for them. I set out to be a racing driver. I didn't set out to be a celebrity, so um, I just want to win races and, and concentrate on that. And um, I like some of the perks that go along with being a celebrity, for sure. <laughs> That's everybody. They all want the good bits and not the bad bits, don't they? You your picture taken with me? You have to be responsible about certain things because there are a lot of people who look up to you. You are a role model to, to young girls. Those little girls now believe that women can drive just as well as any other man, so if that's what they want to do, they should go out and do it. Next on Race Car Driver, Catherine has one victory this season at Long Beach and two top three finishes. To have any chance of making the transition to Champ Car, she needs to win again. Just do what you do. Don't get conservative. Do what you do. Driving a car on the limit is just what I live for. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. As soon as we put her in the race car and she did her first laps, we realized we almost had to slow her down a little bit. That, I think, is a bit of a good thing. She's tenacious. I mean, the one thing I'll say about her, she really, one of the things she needs to learn is to how to qualify a little bit better. She's really struggling with that a little bit. You know, every time we go, she gets a little bit better, a little bit better. Nice job. It's uh, Kazma, it's you, and Bissette. Really nice. Way to go. Give that one lap. If they gave me that one lap, you know. They don't give you any laps. You have to take them. Sometimes Jim is a bit hard on me. Well, I guess he's not hard on me, but I guess he has to be to get the most out of me. How was that fun? Yeah, baby. Turn one's good. Um, I kept carrying more and more speed in, and it just kept, you know, like breaking less and less. So you're breaking gently and just rolling the speed through, and it would cope with it. If you want something badly enough, you'll make it happen. Everybody has passions and things they believe in, and this is mine, and I'm a very competitive person. I hate being beaten at anything. You know, you play me a game of cards or dominoes or anything, and I can't stand to lose. I want to win so much that I wake up in the morning and it hurts inside me. <laughs> to get to the champ car level, I mean, I think she has the raw talent to do it. I think she absolutely has the qualities it takes to get there. She just needs to refine them a little bit. She needs to learn, um, I guess, when to hold them and when to fold them. I want to get to Champ Car, I don't want to be driving around at the back as a token female. I want to be in amongst it. I mean, you I said am. it's a bit slow to transition. But maybe that's because I'm trying to do that too quickly. She's obviously talented. She's won a race this year at Long Beach. She runs at the front. Her idea of what she wants to be is, is not that of, of Danica Patrick. She, she wants to be a winner and, and not really a kind of a sex symbol marketing tool. Make sure if we need to fix it again, we'll fix it. Once the race starts, she just goes. Very rarely, and I don't can't even think if ever, has she ever passed somebody and then been repassed. She passes, she moves to the next. Okay, radio check, Catherine, radio check. Okay. All right, gonna go green the next time by. Not sure. Looks all right, Catherine. Looks okay. Let's go, girl. Let's get him. Good job. Ten to go. Make him perfect. Good job. Good job. She got up to second. Charles Wolzman, who is a fantastic driver, she just stayed on his tail. He made one small mistake, and when he made that mistake, she pounced. Beautiful, let's go, pull away, pull away. Okay, one lap to go, make it perfect, one lap to go. She was in control of the race. Yeah! All right! <laughs> Great job, Thank buddy. You. Thank you so much. Oh, Great job.
The most important thing to me is making it in motorsport, winning races, becoming a champion, and then I'll be Catherine. I won't be um, anybody else.